Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the first time I've spoken this morning. It's uh, Monday, um, August 26th. It's August 26th. Um, so I got uh, my last uh, test result yesterday. It wasn't the blood cell counts. It was the alpha-1 fetoprotein, which is a tumor marker for uh, liver cancer, HCC. I want to say hepatocellular carcinoma. Um, and uh, yeah, I know liver cancer, at least according to the alpha, it's well within the normal range. I think it's like 0 0.6 to 4.0 or something, something like that, and I've got less than 1.8, so, but again, I have that um, ultrasound next week to confirm. Um, and the, and the Lipid Clinic on Thursday, next Thursday, so, since it looks like the Lipitor has been hurting my liver, I'll try something else. I do have a new PCP, but I haven't tried to make an appointment. I have to do that today. Um, I suppose in an emergency, I could probably do a video to call with somebody and get them to just give me a month of carbidolol. Um, I'm not going to do the go to urgent care again because I lucked out that one time, but the doctor was like, don't don't do this again because it's putting a lot of pressure on a doctor who doesn't know anything about my and I and I understood that when I got there but it was it was an emergency or at least I thought it was an emergency you know it was all new I'd never been sick before and suddenly my cholesterol was sky high and nobody wanted to give me cholesterol drugs but uh, I said yeah so um, we'll see how that works out um, I don't think I have enough to last me until the 27th of September when I see my hepatologist. But, you know, I'll figure it out. I think you can even call um, Express Scripts if you're worried and they'll figure something out. Um, so, I think maybe they'll try another doctor. I don't know. Uh, I do have one they could try. And I have to talk to my... I can't send people to my PCP right now. That would be weird. Like, who? <laughs> I have to talk to the guy. Um, but yeah, so, there's nothing new. I spent the weekend basically resting. Um, I got things done, but just little things. Um, I slept a lot on Saturday. I needed to. It's, it's been a rough few weeks. Um... Otherwise, I didn't really do much. I, I got my exercise in. Still kind of dehydrated. I'm going to have to start doing something like body armor. I know that's a lot of sugar and it's not that great. But when I get this bad, it's, it's one of the only things that will help me get back up. So water alone isn't doing it. So I'm going to get myself some of those blue raspberry body armors today. Drink those for a week or so and along with water, a lot of water. I'm not, not doing water. Because, yeah, the dehydration seems to be bad, and I can't imagine that this isn't going to go south for me real quick if I don't do something about it. I wish I liked those Water Plus packets, but I don't. They taste horrible to me. All right, well, um, things are okay. I think that with my mom and brother, I think things are working out. I know it's hard. I know nobody wants to think of their youngest child or their little sister this way. I, I don't want this. But now that I'm finally... And also, I noticed this today. I'm going to go in just a sec, but I noticed this today while I was getting ready for work. Um... When I am freaked out about my results, my bilirubin goes up every time. It goes up as far, it's been up as high as nine. When I first heard the word cirrhosis, it went up to nine, you know. Uh, when I was going to the evaluation, it went up. 
uh, when I'm not, and you know, when I was freaked out about having autoimmune hepatitis, when I, and whenever I'm not freaked out, whenever I've convinced myself it's not cirrhosis, it's fine. It goes down. Uh, this is correlation, I'm sure, not causation, but uh, it does look a little bit like my state of mind has a big effect because my health is, I think, it's not the same as a normal person. My liver is very delicate and it does so much for the body, like introducing, you know, constant chemicals, uh, adrenaline, um, you know, you know, the stress chemicals, stress hormones and stuff that probably hurts me in some way. And especially if it's like, doesn't stop, you know, a normal person can absorb it with their body, but my liver is already compromised and it's still trying to do the, like what 800 things that it does. So yeah, it might be something to talk to. Uh, I, I don't know if my, um, UCLA psychiatrist, I don't know if a psychiatrist would handle this so much, but there's social workers and people I can talk to in the UCLA system and groups and stuff. And I, I imagine there's other resources I could access if I just ask around. So, we'll see. But it does remind me that, like, you know, keeping a good perspective and and not letting myself freak out. And, you know, it's hard when you when you're by yourself a lot, when you're, you know... And you feel like you don't have a good support system. Um, you know, and I had a friend say something kind of mean to me the other week. She obviously realized it because we had plans for tonight or last night, and she didn't she didn't pester me about them because she knew that what she had said. Basically, what happened is she started playing devil's advocate, which is fine on a normal basis. But when you start making somebody cry, you should stop playing devil's advocate. And she just didn't see that nuance. And I'm not mad at her, but I'm not ready to hang out yet. Okay, well, I meant to go a while ago, but I'll go now. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.